Gulf South Productions, Daniel Lozada and the team, festivals, raves, birthday parties, weddings. Loxicom. Because you want a smart house, don't you? Home automation. Golden Gulf Insurance Services. Home. Home insurance. Auto. Commercial. Bonds. Life. Life. Life insurance. Oh. Oh How many times did you sit back just relaxing? Understand movements coming in, yeah, we got the packs in. I don't really wanna see no more traffic. Last pack just came in, let's get so it out I mean, I'm quick. Fine. I had a heart attack. Wanna be okay, wanna be alright? All right, so we brought you here to play Simon Says. So, <laughs> when's the last time you played that? I have not played Simon Says in quite some time. Um, Is it? Probably a couple months ago. Yeah. Is there like an underground club going yeah, on we don't know about? Maybe I'll let you know All right. about it. Yeah, afterwards we'll talk. We'll set it up. Right. Over in East Ocean Springs. East Ocean Springs. <laughs> I'm always East Side girl. <laughs> Right on. Well, hey, you are here with us. Thank you so much. Look, for those of you, we got Mizo in the house. Hi. Um, she's here. Um, Mizo, so I knew I knew you through, uh, like, the original juke joint, like in Oak Springs. That's how I first met you. How long have you been in the, in, in the industry? Ooh, did you hear the thunder? Yeah. When you were asking and me. And we spilled question. something earlier. You told us something was going to happen. See, I told you. you putting it out there. How long have I been doing... Just this? industry, period. Like Industry. My mom and dad had a lot of house parties. I started at like five. I really? got drinks for everybody. What type of house parties? Told jokes. I had a microphone. It's Wait. A story. Really? Yeah. So you were raised in this hospitality. <laughs> yes. Like, um, yeah, what kind of house parties? I'm with Jordan. Are they like Pampered Chef parties? No. Are they Pampered Chef? People play guitar, get drunk. Most of them walk home because they live in the neighborhood. Okay. And what neighborhood was this? Where did you grow up? Cahokia, Illinois. Illinois. The, uh, right around St. Louis, East St. Louis. Okay. Yeah. And was it like Buddy Guy? Was it like, mm. what were they playing back then at these parties? That was country western. Yeah, I don't know. Classic I don't know, I don't know what they played in. Well, we're down here, so yeah. what did they play there? Because then it was like classic Johnny Cash. Okay. How big, were, how big were these parties? They were lovers. Like, was it, like, oh, themed or was love. every? Themed? No, they would just, they would end up at our house all the time. People would end up at our house. It was that house in the neighborhood. The party so, house. That's everybody. where I got my love for pleasing people and entertaining. Okay. That's where I believe it started. Did your parents do that, too? I mean, or did they, I guess, instilled no. it in you? or they... They're not like that. No, no, my never. My might be, but. Yeah, you no. get it. I don't know. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh, it didn't fall far, but. <laughs> Now, was it like family or just y'all's neighbors? Neighbors and family because our family, some of them lived in the same neighborhood. Because when they all moved in, it was a new neighborhood at the time, and the houses were $12,000. So my $12, dad, his brother. $12,000? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Brand new. Three what happened? Bedrooms, what happened? Bathroom. I know mine wasn't 12000 Yeah. So we all, so a lot of people that knew each other were in the neighborhood already. And then we all just, it was like one big family party every Do you remember day. how they, like, did they buy the house new? Did they get it built? It was already made because there was an ad. We found the ad for the paper, and the payment was one twelve a month. And that's how y'all, I mean, there was a newspaper. Had the ads in there, you call yeah. them up, and they're like, That's hey. how you got yeah. a house okay. back in the day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I used to love the um the, the free, the $100 and under ad in uh, Sun Herald. That was like one of my favorite things. Oh, that's I love that. I'm 86, so Matt's 86. <laughs> I'm 86. Born but, in 86. But I'm 86 my, years old. Uh, especially we look the old. Sunday yeah, paper. You. We look mature. Thank you. I was confused. What? When you said I'm 86. Oh no, a uh, birthday. Is that a new? Is that something new? I'm 86. That's yeah. You're out of here. You're off. We're yeah, you're out, we're 86 oh, in it. I think you need to change that. Okay. Yeah. Um. Maybe born born 86. How about that? Okay, born 86? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking BJ and AJ, before Jordan and after Jordan. Right? <laughs> Christ years or something. Maybe not BJ. I mean, there's a big something. jump, though. Yeah, so I was born in 1986. Math, 1986. Christmas Day in 1986. So We're big into, like, uh, catalogs are big. For, like, the J- J- yeah. JCPenney catalog, Sears. 
Did you go look at the bras and the panties? 100%. Yes. Yay. Did you? I don't think we got those. No? I did when we got Victoria's Secrets, though. Okay. I would look at those. When did they get Victoria's Secret in? I think I was like undergraduate college. I'm going to say that it was the 80s. Because I always thought, oh, okay, that's what you got to look like. So, yeah. So there was actually was mail-out it. magazines for Victoria's Secret? Oh, yeah, I don't remember. yeah. Just like the J.C. Penney, the Sears. Yeah. Well, that's how we did Christmas. You just you, you got the catalog. Circle what you want. Circle what you want, and then you, if you you know if you're good, you got it. If not, you got stuff that mom want you to learn. Socks. Oh yeah, yeah. underwear. You know that was, I was thinking about that. Like I now want socks and underwear. I know those. See that your mama was right. That's what I want now. I know she knew that, but then you were like, "There's oh. nothing better than a fresh." Fresh socks. Hair I have some more today. Are those fresh? Fresh, fresh to death. I like the pink. They'll never be the same. No. Yeah. This is it. You might lose one after your first wash and just well, only have one I'll, sock. I'll wear these after. Do you have do you have single sock? I mean, does your does your washing machine eat socks too? Because mine know where does. They go. Oh yeah. I think they fall down the side. Yeah, it's, yeah. Socks were a big one. Uh, it was a lot. Another thing too was she liked. Uh, Movies. She always she loves movies, so she was always gifting like movies, VHSs, a lot of that, a lot of movies. Isa, what's your favorite movie? I'm corny. It's Same. a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. That's a good movie. That, how many times do you think you've seen it? Oh. Like over and over and over. Because I was one of those kids who would watch the same movie over and over and over. I, I oh, stopped. You're autistic too. Yeah, I'm autistic too. <laughs> D A D D. Autistic and dyslexic. Yeah. Um, I got OCD. It's from the canned vegetables. But I'm down with OPP. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but I watched this. Uh, Big Lebowski was one of my favorite as one as a as an up and comer. I would watch it over and over. I could probably recite the whole thing. But, wow. Yeah. Um, well, look at you today. I know. If you living that life, on, living that life. You'd wear, if you were wearing a robe right now, I would yeah, I've always pictured myself as the Walter. So I get high, strung, and I yell a lot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just kidding. No, that was it before, right? Yeah, that was before. Yeah. But now, no. So, It's a Wonderful Life. Jordan, what's your favorite movie? Mm, I would say uh, Killer Connors from Outer Space was like a really, like, that was one of my favorite movies. I tried to watch it not too long ago, and it was just different. But I watch whatever my siblings that I have older siblings they are ten years older than me, so whatever they're watching, I'm watching. That's, yeah, the my hand sister, me, the hand me downs of movies. <laughs> but I think yeah, best forty six. So, so whatever, and Michael's think forty four. So whatever they're watching was a Daisy Confused, Beautiful Weapons, Raising Arizona. I, I think the first Ninja Turtles, honestly, too, was probably one of my favorites. I watched that one all all I the just, time. I just watched those during COVID. They were so good. You've never seen them before? No. Wow, you're missing out. That was oh. one of those ones that I watched over and over again. They were again. great. You yeah. watched the originals? Yes. The rat costume was a little creepy. It was. Other than that, everything else on them was yeah. Shredder? No. Was he Shredder the rat? No, Splinter was the Splinter. rat. Shredder was... Splinter. um. Uh, Kevin Nash actually played Super Shredder in the second Ninja Turtles. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secret of the Ooze. They were um, great little guys. Wouldn't it be fun to have friends and y'all just go around helping people and wear little shells? And that's pretty much my life now. Right? Believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we have a team. They put a uh, like a bat signal up whenever we're needed. And we <laughs> That'd be dope. And, Wouldn't it be? That's what I would do. Wow, I'm gonna. Well, you couldn't. You couldn't have those skills and just keep them all to yourself. No, you can't. You gotta share it. So, do you do karate? Are you karate expert? I mean, what kind of skills do you have? What's your hidden talent? Oh, watch this. Oh, I just close off. What? I don't. I don't. You have gills? Are you? Are you a fish? That's pretty impressive. I've never met anybody that can do it. I can't. I don't even want to try. I feel like I'm about to break. I've traveled. I've never met anybody. And you go underwater like that, too. I can. You can. Do you? And is that your go-to move? Under the bowls. Yeah, is that your (laughs) go-to move? Yeah, no, you don't want that. Even when I taught school, I said, I'll give you extra credit, anybody. You know, these kids about passing out, trying to get extra credit. So (laughs) what is the the technique you do there? Where do you go with it? Where'd you teach at? Arizona at a Catholic school. <laughs> really? So it was like K through fourth or fifth? K through, through eight. At a so Catholic school. So was was it, were now, you a nun? No. I thought all Catholic no. school teachers were nuns. 
Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I didn't, so I didn't go Catholic to Catholic school. school. Catholic school. I guess you're right. It was, it was, uh, I was filling in, I ha- like this lady like had a breakdown. And so I wasn't even fully like through my program, a master's program, but they needed someone quickly. So this kid that I, this guy I was in school with, it was his school. He goes, we need a Spanish teacher. I'm like, eh, I lived in Mexico two years. I can do this. We be in Espanol. Really? Oh, and you a- taught them all how to close their nose off. We played like we played restaurant a lot. Heads up, seven up. You remember that game? So when you said uh, kindergarten through eighth, did you uh-huh. have like, an, did you go through the whole entire, was like a fifth grade class? Or? No, like, you know how the teacher, oh, everybody, Spanish teacher's coming. She'll be here in 10 minutes, you know. Okay. Pop around. And then I picked up a sixth grade, sixth grade science and an eighth grade math. I did that too because that teacher, something happened to her. So I picked those two up. What was one thing that I guess you picked up from that? Like, did, did you? Uh, I think I was refreshed again that how much I enjoy kids and how smart they are and how much I see through their eyes what I see. And I'm like, wow, and the excitement. And, and I get like fueled from that. How I long did you do that. it for? That one, I was there a year. Did you move on? And, so how long have you been teaching for altogether? Intermittently, I don't know, maybe five years. You've been teaching us ever since you walked in the door. Right. So hey. up. Pretty- I even taught at USM. I taught developmental psychology 101. Really? And, I, and one of the guys that took the class, you know, you fill out the thing after you take a college yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. He said my skills were elementary. <laughs> He was a like student? My, yeah. Was, you must have gave him a bad teacher. grade. Yo soy maestra. And he you said. You must have gave him a bad grade. He said, you know, I want, he, I think he even got his money back. Really? No. He Is that an him. option? He I want to call, he call my front. school. I want some money back. Miserable person. He was miserable. Yeah. He didn't it's like sad. my style. You can't please everybody. No. But they all learned, I bet. Were you a homework giver or were you no. a, a hands-on, like, meet me in class? I'm not, no. You seem more like a Miss Frizz. We just Magic do school bus teacher class. to me. Have you ever failed somebody? Like, like that, like you failed somebody because you know. No. no. How hard is it to fail somebody? If you're it making the if, if you're making the effort though, like yeah. If you're in Spanish, like the person really can't catch one to Spanish, but making the effort and really trying. Yeah. Well, so gotta pass them. See. I yeah. gave A's out like they were. <laughs> Oprah cars. I was like, everybody gets an A. So you everyone was signing up for for your class? Because I kept it so elementary. Like when I taught at the university, I kept it elementary so you would master it. Right. So what That's I smart. taught, you mastered. Did I all, didn't go past And memorable, probably. Yeah. Did you get along with the teachers? They didn't like me. Yeah. Because did you go against the grain? To me, that's how no, I No, they see. thought I was, I don't know. They just didn't like me. They'd say, well, we don't have time like Miss Mizo to decorate our papers when we hand them back and <laughs> but they could <laughs> they if could. they wanted to and i was just a little different i didn't make them sit down in class because they'd say our butts hurt from sitting all day let's stand up and move around the room and identify objects in spanish you know yeah something different Sounds but the like other cool teachers teacher. they didn't like me at all <laughs> probably not they probably still tell stories <laughs> about i wish i'd have that. brought the picture of me i just showed this to some other day i go pick me out of the school you know when all the teachers get together <laughs> It's, it's it's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I just remember back whenever we were kids, a lot of the teachers seemed like they were didn't want to be there. They didn't want to actually educate children. And I'm not trying to give them a bad rep because there was, a there was bit. some that were good. Yeah. yeah but a lot a of them, a lot of them were just like, they're there looking, for summer. Yeah, off. they were just there for, <laughs> to be mad at somebody. Yeah. And, and I was, I wouldn't say I was the best student. I was pretty loud and obnoxious, but uh, I definitely had a few that hated my guts, so. I mean, but also like Miss Polk was my kindergarten teacher. She's she's still around. She's retired now, but the way she her, her imagination was, I'll never forget that. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? And then just Miss Budnich. Oh, that's beautiful. Like man. this, she had a piano though. It was a dinosaur room, and she became principal. But she would play her piano, and she and she made it like it was uh, purple and fully decorated, and she painted it and everything, and made the room come to life and. That says that you got to do a lot to, to get you through certain lines. Oh, yeah, for okay, sure. Good. Oh, for sure. That's why I like to write love letters. Do I you? think we need to, like, send people notes express, like that. Express yourself. Yes. People just text now. Let's be I honest. Like, I, I know it's okay, but. Here, cheers. Let's cheers to cheers. our, uh, our oh, new glasses. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the mugs. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Nizo brought us some 
Of the collection mugs. The collection. <laughs> Cheers. I feel like I'm strapped in over here or something. You're not. Yeah, I'm, you can move out. And she brought us something to drink on some little brown over there. Some, some <laughs> Thank Tennessee, you. Some Tennessee brown. Pretty Tennessee. Good, right? For a couple Tennessee mules. Oh, yeah. They're nope. just using water. They don't even do. They don't fuck with ginger beer. <laughs> yeah, we, uh. We don't need I don't mind. Look, I don't mind uh, ginger beer. I had one. What is that? Moscow mule was a ginger beer? Moscow is the vodka, so. Okay, the mule is the beer? I don't mule know. Mule is the. So you can get the a ginger. Moscow ginger root. mule, Kentucky mule. So the mule Educate is us. ginger beer. You've been pouring alcohol since you were five oh, years old. How to make a vodka and vodka. Yeah. Can I get a vodka and vodka? I love those people. Tito's and vodka. I'd be like, well, yeah. Can I get a... T- oh, Can I get a Tito's and vodka? Yeah. Um, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Next. So you've been you've been bartending how long? You said five years old, but oh, I mean, yeah. when like, when really did you start, you know? Uh, after my trip to Mexico, so I was 23, maybe, 24. Is that something that you did and you saw other people doing it first and was like, I want to do this eventually? Or is that something that, that you kind of fell into? I think I fell into it. I worked at a bookstore in my undergraduate for five years. I love that. I love Were you books. a bookworm? Yes. Are you a bookworm? I love books. Really? Yeah. I can't read. I can read. I mean, I can read. It's just you like, just haven't found what you want to read. Thank you. Find it. How do you find what you want to read? Just keep. Just go to. The Barnes and Nobles and look at all the little sections. The library. How many books have you read in a month? Uh, no more than like twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty books. Not now. Oh, that was that was in your prime. In... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever wrote a book? I have a book in my bag now. You've wrote a book. Wrote a book? Yeah. No, I have a book in my bag right now. What no, is it? I should write a book. What are we? Yeah. What book you have? What is it? I don't know. We'll see what we got in your Mary Poppins bag. Your son, the jumbo pencil. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, here it is. All right. Start where you are. That's pretty good advice. How okay. far through this book are you? Well, as you can see, it's a journal. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of starting it. No, but then I, ha- oh, Freddie came in the other night at work. Shout out, Freddie. Shout out, Freddie. Freddie Fred. I love you, Freddie. Love you. He left a note. Let's see what's it say. I don't know. You're looking at the glory, not my story. Love, Freddie. Oh, that's nice. But I leave it out at work, and people that's look sick. at it. They doodle you know, on it. Yeah, or they they read it. They might. Do you ever go back and and keep these, or do you pass to give them away to the next person? I usually person? give them. I give a lot of these away, a lot of books and a lot of things. Yeah, I give everything. We recently away. had uh, Ben Press going. Yeah, I love and that. he had his book. Oh, the kids' book. No, he had his his, his we idea. We did book. look at that. Oh, his idea book with all his and drawings, his sketchbook, yeah. his doodling, like everything he yes. cr- creates in there. And we it's went badass. Yeah, we went and took. Uh, we made it smart. Yeah, we, we made a that. hat out of uh, one of his. Was it the oh redhead? Oh, one eye? Was it redhead? Oh man, I'm redhead. so mad. No, there's. There's a story in, in the name, and I can't remember it right now. But. but it, so he has so many of his art, his pieces. He just, has, if he has an idea, whether it's clouds or whatever, and then he writes. It's, it's fascinating to see that book. I mean, ideas that come and go, right? Truth that they fast. Do, and if you don't write that down, like, yeah. So we have. I, I got that here. My note to myself. I was so worried about Freddie. I forgot I wrote down <laughs> create website already. Yeah, just do it. What are you waiting on? I already created the domain. It's christinamizo.com. I like it. What's it Very gonna be? original. Yeah. What's it going to be? Well, I was going to be a, uh, I was going to be a, I don't know what. OnlyFans? What? An OnlyFans? No. Is oh. that a website for dating? No. It's. Farmers only? Nudity. <laughs> but yeah, essentially. Oh, it's nudity? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's this thing that the kids are doing nowadays where you can get I mean, subscriptions. Up to, I mean, and they pay for it. Yeah, yeah. there's people. Why don't they just go make friends with the girl at the bar? I if they know. want, like, Jeez. if you want, I can't argue. If somebody will send out and be like, "Hey, uh, I'll give you, you know, you can pay fifty bucks for a feet pick, or you know, whatever." Like, it's certain levels. Oh, at the casino, I had a guy. If we'd rub our feet together, take our what? shoe at the casino I worked at. So you take your foot out of your shoe and do this in the well. Oh, you know, 
you throw money on your tray. Really? Yeah. You get, I only Did got, you have to make the noise like that? Yeah, he liked the noise. So he, I only got $5. <laughs> but this girl we worked with, Kiki, she's so darn cute. And she had perfect feet. The perfect feet. Oh, that girl got black chips. Dang, I'm like, Kiki. Take your shoes off, Kiki. Come on. <laughs> get, mm. get yourself some money. <laughs> she goes, it's weird. It is a little weird, but like, we don't kink shame here on the Jordan and Matthew show. He'd sit at the slot wheel around her and just wait for her to come back and take her shoe off. And she'd get $100. Damn, only if life was that easy, huh, Jordan? I know, right? I mean, people are doing it on OnlyFans. I mean, they're 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 doing it. Wow, it's a big. I mean, it's they're a big industry now. So, like, what is your website though, for real? No, I was starting with. Uh, I was calling it. Let's talk about it. I wanted to like get people more into trying to find their self and their authentic self and talk about what's really goes on with us instead of the fake stuff. That Damn, the world needs more of that. I feel. like. That's what we're trying to do. I mean, we try to be real. We have people on that are passionate. So are you just going to do more of a blog? No. Like ideas? Like yeah. A topic of the day type yeah, deals? I just want to help people, like, get their mental health together and and know that they're not the only ones that think that way. Well, I know that you've helped me with my mental health numerous times whenever I've been at the bar just by chit-chatting and, and conversing, and that's been over the years, you know, so... You're kind of doing it already. Yeah, I do it. Yeah. I just want to help everybody. And I, every day I go to work, I just I try to think of that. That's my little gift. I just so realized w- that. Would it be video on that website? I think so. And I want to get. Uh, so I make, I make websites. That's so I'm curious. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I make websites. So I'm just curious to like. It could be uh, Christina's. Talk of the day, pep talk of the yeah, day, or just, like a breakfast yeah, just thing. Something. I, don't I know. think, yeah, I, I don't think know. a simple. I think video platform on a website like that, and you just like if you're doing so like build your website already. People sometimes they're like, "What's wrong with her?" I see people when I go to wait on them, they're like, "Something wrong on her? She's what's wrong with her?" You know, and just having uh, a good time. But they don't understand that I'm just coming from a place. Of, hey, how you doing? You know. Yeah, certain people aren't ready for that. Uh, I think. Yeah. I think you'll be. Uh, I think. Uh, a blog, honestly, a blog. Blog. I would say What's a blog. A blog is like Julia, Julia, the movie, like she did the other girl. It, no, it's just it's, it, it's your journal. It's a journal. I don't know what that movie is. It's a journal. So with you know back in the day with the websites, um, it was more or less like say Google search was just for like Mizo dot com, Jordan dot com, and that was like our first Facebook, our social media. Like and then yeah, and you could share anything that you like. Like if you go, see hats that you like, you could probably people go share a link people to it go at it though. So like when you're on your website, like you're writing your thoughts and ideas, and then people search on Google and it pulls up w- your topics. So if you're talking about a certain topic that day, that's how Google got started in the search world. And then business found out about it and they just put their business over it, but they still have to write a blog or they wow. won't get they won't get search any SEO. People can't okay. reach them. So, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. French, do you, do you write? Like this? Like anything. Like Yes, I had diaries. I lost them in Katrina. I had diaries from 1974. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have some still. What would be your typical diary entry? Let's hear like a dear diary. What year? God. I don't know. I don't know. A, Just any, pick one. 19. I always had a list. 94. Had, okay, yeah, 94. Oh, 94. Let's hear Ooh, it. Let's hear 94. it. Dearest diary. Dearest diary. <laughs> yes. Oh, I was a, I wasn't a good girl then. I was kind of selfish. I think. You pick your year. Yeah, you pick your year. Let's see. Damn, the seventies were. Yeah, like seventy nine when you're in high school, and you every boy that looks at you, you write it down. So you had a list. Yeah. Oh, Roger looked at me. Oh, you know, it meant a lot. Just a boy looking at you, you know? Actually, we never knew that. I know. We were just looking. That's what people, they all say that. And I was like, I would write it down. Oh, so-and-so sat next to me in class and kind of looked at me. You know, it just, we were just all like, oh, somebody paid attention to me. That was big. Wow. Every day was like somebody that not noticed us or noticed me or it was weird. Right, I want to help you build a website. Okay. I really do. I let's mean, do let's it. start simple, like the, the, the back, the foundation of it, uh-huh. because the other stuff, it's be complicated. Yeah. You really want a strong website and you want your stories to be heard. We got to do a blog yeah. and just keep it simple. And then we, and then we grow into the development of, uh, you see it go to a direction. 
but I would want to help you because you, I mean, you, like I want to help you with this because like I think I think you can. I mean, we we have a hosting service, so we can host your website for you. As long so, as you have the dot com, we can host. Yeah, it. Yeah, and I like the dot com. Like I said, very original. So, what do you do now to like express yourself and get out there? I know you said you read, but is it like is there art? Is there something else that you do? Is like a get out? I play get with like, my plants. You're a, a horticulturist. What kind of plants? <laughs> Those kind of plants. Plants are like people. Yeah, do they have little sassy attitudes or? No, they're called. Okay. Yeah. What kind of plants? Just like vegetable plants. plants? Herbs. Do you talk to them? Yes. And what, what what do you tell them? I ask how they're feeling and if they want to go to the spa. That's underneath the house where the air conditioners drip and stuff. Okay. And it's nice and shady. I take them to the spa, let them hang out a day, and I rotate everybody out, and they all go to the spa once a week. Once a week. Man, they live the life. Mm-hmm, they do. They're happy. And I have a bubble maker on my porch, and I have bubbles. I love bubbles. bubbles. Um, do you ever clone the plants? Have you ever done that? I've tried. I'm not successful. No? See, I, I've seen videos and people doing it, and it's been something that's, like, always intrigued me. I've never tried it before. How do you clone a plant? Um, I just got I just uh, got my first, four months ago, I got my first habanero and uh, jalapeno uh, plants in the back. So I just started growing. Like, something me and Emily are doing. She's got cucumbers and stuff. And I was mm. like, I love, like, I love, like, a spicy mayo. I love seaweed squares, jasmine rice, spam, or any kind of mm. protein. But I love a spicy mayo. And I'm like, well, I was like, babe, like you got your garden stuff. Like, can I do a habanero? And I'm yeah, just, you can. but I'm mess. I'm making a mistake with the habanero because like the bottom part, like at the, the bottom where it's growing. It's my first time. They, they, I just started picking them. They are now like, I'm killing the bottom. Kill Tops, them. I'm good, but I need to figure out how to fix that. Because I've wasted like probably three or four of them. Oh no. I gotta survival out. of the fittest with those things, man. Gotta, They're yeah. good though, dude. They're good. Like I, I made a little salsa. Like I already have I've, the, the three I picked were amazing. I want to make my own hot sauce one day. Yes, we had the hot sauce queen make ours at the juke joint. My friend Alejandra, the, the hot, hot sauce, sauce queen. queen. It'd be busy as who, hell. Who, Midnight Friday, they come in. Deems- <laughs> <laughs> Someone, the hot sauce queen, is that a, an award won? No, Passing that's around, self proclaimed. She's she is the hot, hot sauce queen. Okay, yeah, it's she'd like right. come in and make ours at the Duke joint, and come in the back door and bring like seven girlfriends, and everybody's trying to make stuff in the kitchen, and we're busy, and they're back there, la, 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 and I'm like, every, but everybody, nobody cares because they want that salsa. It's just about like the, you know, that stuff. It's so good. I haven't had any. I don't think. Maybe I, have, I don't remember. If you had any oh, food yeah. there, it was our salsa. I don't remember. I wasn't much of a salsa eater at the bar. Like, maybe it came with the quesadilla. And yeah, the I wasn't of that either. I was got um, maybe I did. I can't remember. I was on blackout. The salsa was like you had the blackout special. Oh, I'll take the blackout special. That's when <laughs> you order food, pay for it, and leave, and it sits there. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that still happens. <laughs> then Shay's in the back going, "Oh, good, I got a grilled get cheese. a free sandwich." <laughs> I uh, pudding shots. Yeah. Pudding shots were, I mean, they hit. We need to bring those back. I would always eat the pudding shots. Like, I'd have to get, I mean. They were good, weren't they? Yeah, I get a beer, but I get about, yeah, I get about four of them. One-fifth per 33 pudding shots. So, I don't know. That's Where did you learn that recipe? Did you master it? Yeah. Was it your recipe? I don't remember where I got it. You should probably take credit for it. It was probably like. The nineties. <laughs> what was your fir- uh, What was your first uh, bartender? Oh, there you go, Corvette's nightclub, Fairview Heights, Illinois. So it was busy. So oh, you I- had you had to like, like she was like. This- oh, I started. In- Coast is slow compared to like yeah, yeah up there time. where it's yeah. like you gotta like yeah. I bartended one. I bartended and I, I only did a wedding and I just didn't have really. Jack and Coke. Yeah. Lot. Very and, I, and I remember Very like simple. it was a, it was free drinks and I remember like. They told me, like, a shot glass and this, shot in water, you know. So I did it. And this one guy was like, I just can't remember. He was so mad because uh, he didn't have enough uh, Jim Beam. And he threw a fit. And I'm like, it's free. They told me this is, I'm sorry, man. Easy he's like, Easy he's like, It's free. And he didn't even tip either. He didn't tip $1. Like, he did, like everybody else was tipping, and he didn't tip $1. And he's just like, you don't know how to make a drink. And I'm like, this is a sheet we have to pour in the shot. 
And it was, and he didn't pay one dollar, and he made a scene for fifteen minutes, oh. and I never bartended after that. It just gets <laughs> away from it's me. PTSD. Yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I ain't it doing is. it. I ain't doing it. It is the verbal abuse to take behind the bar. I did it a little bit in college. Yeah. It was fun. I would rather cook. Just experimental stuff. Yeah, you just know. experimental. It's <laughs> typical college guy stuff. Right? Tom Collins, whiskey sour. Yeah. You know, um, easy. Stuff. I remember thinking it was like the big. Like, oh, my God, I'm not, I can't do this because there's so many drinks out there. I don't know. And then once I started bartending, I was very shocked at how simple what pe- most people want. Yep. You know? And then it was, I was in Oxford, so I kind of got into, like, a finer taste of things. Where people, Vodka soda with two lines. Yeah, where people wanted to, to <laughs> you know, have the fancy stuff and uh, a little bit, but still. Any it white was white girl drink. <laughs> we, we had phones at that point with Wi-Fi, and we could Google anything that we needed right there on the so. Oh, that don't even count. I know, because be I grew up listening to, that. I learned to kamikaze and to sex on the beach, I whatever. get on the phone and call another bar. <laughs> um, yeah, I was independent. I was too independent to admit that I didn't know. I would just, I'd fake it till I made really? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, in don't the college. Just, yeah, fake, yeah. In the college, it didn't matter. Like, it was all kids. No, they don't care. They're kids, yeah. No rich they don't kids. They don't care. Uh, it was fun though, but it did open it's up. Fun. It did open get, up a I, lot of doors for me. I had to get back there because I was like a cocktail in this little short skirt, and I was like, "Man, I want to get behind the bar." And I begged Greg, the guys, like, oh, "I want to get back there." He's like, "No way, no way, no way. It's just dudes." And I'm like, "Dudes only." Yeah, it was the was late that 80s. was that uh, like during the Tom Cruise I think so, bartender? Probably. Was that a stigma back then? Did you see a lot of girl bartenders? Uh, no. Not in busy nightclubs. No? No. See, and they didn't have bottle service back then where no. the girls are, like, running around. Do you remember your first shift and your first drink you, you made? The first shift, like, when the, when he said, okay, you can get behind the bar. I think it was, like, midnight, and somebody threw up. Somebody got sick, and so he's like, you want to come back here? Come back here. So I ran in my little silly skirt. It was like a cheerleader skirt. Okay. Ran, um... Around the side and back through the door and ran behind the bar. I'm like, let me at it. <laughs> I knew nothing. <laughs> was were bourbons, was whiskeys and avocas popular or was it beer? Now you see like a lot. That, that, that time, I just remember a lot of beer, really. Jack and Coke, Crown and Coke. That was just that night though, you know. Now, how do you like, now you're looking at like, we talk about seltzers. Uh, there's like every other type of like, rums are making a comeback, like you said. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I remember paying a little more than like 20. Like when I got into bourbons, it was like 2010. I, I just got into bourbons. I'd go see Ms. Jonathan. Yeah. And I'd be like, hey, man, I got 200 bucks. Like, put, put me a box together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. And then Jonathan's like, how was it? I'm like, yeah. well, you could be like trying, you know, his little, uh, a lot of his single hand picks. Yes. And that's how it got me into bourbons. His parents, his parents kind of fascinated me the way they treated me. You know, it was yeah. more of an experience. Yes. And yes. I was just like, hey, man, I got 150 bucks. What, can you put something together? I got a yeah. hundred bucks. Can you need any wood? He would just like walk around and pick whatever. And then I would buy it and I'd go home and be like, Oh, Jonathan sent me home with this. Yeah. And that was right when he started doing just a couple barrels. Like, and we had fun with it. It was a yeah. very, I learned about Bell, uh, Bell Mead. I learned about, Bell Mead. Oh, was it Stranahan's or Strahan's? Strahan's. Strahan's. I learned, I learned about all that through him. He just gave me oh, a little box. He's amazing. Up. I'm still learning. Him. I don't know anything about it. How did Jonathan? Like no, no, no. I mean, I know John. I just I'm learning about the drinking and the etiquette of drinking. Ah, I gave up. I, yeah, I'm more of like a care. does it taste good? Drink yeah. what you want. Yeah. You know, how, how do you keep up now though? With like, I went into the liquor store the other day and there's fifty bottles of bourbon why? on the wall. I don't so know. Th- that's why I'm so confused about it. I just now I'm like right now I'm on Evan Williams hundred proof white and green label. Nice, nice bourbon. It's a good bourbon. I just like I can't even. Because I don't even have to read half of them, like that one Jefferson Ocean we had. Uh, uh, oh, I almost bought that, but then I said, no, let me get this. It's, it's, I mean, it's a little salty. Is it really? Yeah, it's got a... That's what you want yeah. in there, though, right? That's what they advertise. Them. Really? Yeah, they, so they take their barrels and they put it on a boat and they it floats around the ocean. That's their... And then there's like a guy, I watched a video, there's a guy that uh, just dropped a bunch of wine under, under the bottom and that's how he's kind of aging. Like, there's some like techniques now. But I just like it's all experimental. Get, yeah, like college. Yeah. Jim Bean, there, there's so many brands, seltzers, things like that. Oh, there's too many seltzers. Wow. My God, everybody, and everybody's gonna have some, some. 
some of this is going on about 10 years. They're all going to be like, no, so can we dive, dive into that a little bit? The seltzers. Yeah. Yeah. And your hatred for them. But what, what do you mean? Like it's going to burn? Like what's, what's in the the fruit? Well, uh, it's bad for your little flapper right here. Is it the dangly thing? Yeah. Some here. Yes. What was the first seltzer? Zima. Zima. Was Zima the first? Probably. Or was that a malt beverage? I don't know. I get confused. I just remember the commercials. Many. I wasn't 21 yet. Zima. That, I remember that. Oh, that was a lot of heartburn. I remember the Smirnoffs. Yeah. And I don't know. Those were malts. Those weren't, right? Weren't they malts? But boy, we sell a lot of them. Well, you know, also, too, you you being in the bar industry, I mean, uh, you'll have, like, a, a company come in and be like, you know, there's a deal worked out, like Pushies and I, I always see, like, this drink's $4. These margaritas oh, yeah, are $3 yeah. from this new vodka company yeah, or yeah. tequila company. And, and it's kind of, you have to put, you, it's, it's, you don't have to push it, but it's there. It kind of, it's a promotional like that. Like when Al comes around. Crown Royal Al. I love him. Tall gray hair. No. Al, been no. around forever. There's a guy. Great person. What do they call me? What they, <laughs> it, it's like so weird. Nobody knows they all have these names from all of us. Uh, you don't put them on their tickets? I, no, not now you don't. You couldn't back in the asshole. day. Asshole. Yeah. Then there'd be everybody. Douchebags. <laughs> A douchebag, asshole. Asshole at the end of the bar. Asshole at the first of the bar. <laughs> yeah, asshole number one. Asshole, asshole number in the two. middle of the bar. <laughs> How many of your own... Uh, uh, Assholes. <laughs> have you ever made an Just asshole cocktail? Up. <laughs> You're very creative. You have to have a bunch of your own creations when it comes to uh, making drinks. Yeah. All the years behind the bar, you're like, hey, let me just have fun, experiment. What are some of your, like, some of your top cocktails that you've created over the years? I think the Yeah, You Right. I did that in 09. It's uh, uh, Al was having a contest. Crown Royal Al. Wow. Yeah, was having a contest, and you had to make, I had to use Devil's Cut and Jim Beam. And it was Jim Beam, peach liqueur schnapps, apple liqueur schnapps, and lemonade. And you shake it, chill it, and you put it two dashes of Tabasco or four dashes if you like, if you really know. Yeah, you're all. right. Yeah, and you, you, yeah, you're right. That's a good drink. And I think that that drink is probably my most, my proudest moment. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was a good one. But yeah, you're right. But I'd like to serve it if people don't want to add the Tabasco. They can try it before without it. Tabasco, but Tabasco hits it. And I'm not a Tabasco on my food fan, but Tabasco in the Yeah, You're Right is, is huh. where it's at. That drink's good. You never had it? I have Never made it for I don't you? Think if I had it, I don't You might have. You don't yeah. remember, maybe. Uh-huh. It's like apple, bourbon, peach. Nice. Because when, uh, when you had uh, Miso's, like I, I just drank. I mean, honestly, I just drank beers. Yeah, I, I was kind of getting into that level of like understanding bourbon, but I was just a beer drinker. Like I just, we were simple. Kids. I mean, I, I'm just being honest. Like I just the beers. Like I run that Bud Light. I've had too many times. I always steal my parents. Like my, my my parents live in Latimer, and I've always just that's how we, we you know stole their alcohol and stuff. I know we we'd find so many bottles in the parking lot. You knew they got it from their parents' cabinet because it'd be nice stuff, but. People would drink in the parking lot hard liquor and then buy beer. You know, those people. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I'm not a big fan of them people. I couldn't mix the two. Ever. Beer and people? Or no? Mm, no, the, sometimes. One, like, <laughs> the ones that uh, don't want to pay for it. You know, like you know, every now and then, but like Ooh, yeah, the ones that want to like go to their truck and get a beer. Uh-huh. Now, like if you have like an event or like an open city, like Biloxi, and there's an event, you'll yeah, bring a cooler yeah. and your family. Yeah. That's one thing. But like the ones that go out to a, cl- a bar and go to their truck and get like a beer to change out their beer, come on, man. Or don't take tip or take care of the. Oh, people. this kid, this group of kids came in the other day and they sat at the magic table in the corner, and I said, "Hey, how y'all doing?" Blah blah blah. I said, "Well, you know, it's it's illegal and rude to come in with your own drinks you bought somewhere else. Can I get y'all to finish those and you know throw them away?" They were just looked at me like I was beating them with a whip. I was like, "Do we do we have to teach you?" Were they from here? Yes. Yeah, they, you need to teach them that. Like you, you know the rule. Like you, you know the rule. Like and one of them works around the corner at a place. I go, oh, no, no. And the, the other boy, the boy, they pulled their hats. And they were like, oh. So they but knew they were. I walk something. in. I walk in chucking. Okay. You see me eye contact, and I'm coming in. I'll throw it away. But, yeah. But like full before I yeah. before I walk in. So. It's but, just, but, but it's one of the things. Like you see me coming, I'm like at the That's door. That's like one thing that kind of always bothered me. 
no, you know, you could fist fight in front of me. I don't care, you know. But <laughs> when you walk in with the beverage from, it's just rude. Yeah. I bet you've seen some fist fights in there. Oh, huh? yeah. You can tell us about one of those. Oh, gosh. I, they're disturbing. Yeah, I, I'm sure they are. Oh. But, like, what was the dumbest one you saw? Like, oh, it's something stupid. Like, do you remember? No, I remember one girl, though, came looking for her man, and he wasn't there. And the nicest, sweet security guard, Matt's like, he's not here, he's not here. And she goes, you're lying to me, you asshole. Boom. Oh, oh wow. Boom. <laughs> I was Poor like, Matt. didn't see that coming. No. Sweet Matt got knocked down. That was a... Have what you ever had that? anybody try to... 2012. Have oh. you ever had anybody try to step up to you at the bar? There's no way. You would you would break a bottle. <laughs> yeah, right. You, would, you, you know would that. You would break a bottle and you would tell them to leave the property. Yeah, I've no, seen you... Ma- I've never had anybody... had my tires slashed from the guy I kicked out for selling Adderall. Oh, really? Because I was like, dude, you know, he don't buy he don't buy anything at the bar. You just come in and peddle your stuff. And Measly outside or all? It's a so lucrative he, business. So I think he's dead now, though. But uh, Yeah, see, boys and girls, yeah. that's where that'll get that's you. That's where it'll get you. And we went to court. Of course I won because he did it in front of the camera. What an idiot. Uh-huh. So, of course, I never got the tire money back. But, yeah, that was the only time I would say someone retaliated towards me. Did you ever, like, when you were, you know, being in the, in the, you've watched a lot. Have you watched a lot of employees steal money? Have I seen it? Or is, that, is it really, is it common or not really? I don't think it's as much common as it is they give away. What Bar Rescue, away? you're a lie. Bar Rescue, yeah. you're a lie. Oh, that place, yeah. No, no, but they're show. not. You know when someone's stealing. You know your people. Yeah. Some might be stealing in different ways, giving away too much. I was the queen of overpouring because I wanted to make everybody happy, so I'd give it all away. But now, I don't know. I overpoured now. a good bit whenever I was younger. and then I, I, it's I didn't, fun. I didn't have it explained to me from a standpoint of you we're losing money. Money, yeah. I had it explained <laughs> to me as a standpoint of you're ruining these drinks. That's, yeah. And it didn't hit as hard, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah people say, don't kill me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. But, you know, there's the regulars are a good uh, – they're the backbone of some of these bars. Did you have fun with that when you had regulars? Like, I mean, you have regulars now, yeah, right? Yeah, the irregular regulars. Regular regulars. Yeah, I like all the irregulars. Irregulars. Regular regulars. Irregular. The Misfit Island, the Misfit Toys, the Miss – yeah. That's how we – the juke joint was that melting pot of really? people that didn't want to feel welcome How did you else. come up with the inspiration for the juke joint? House party. It was just like – because my house was always parties, 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 and I was like – God damn, man. You know, I'd wake up and there'd be people everywhere. I was like, I just need to open a bar. <laughs> and it that worked was a out. hit. Yeah, that was fun. It felt like home. Yeah, and that's what I wanted it to feel like. And it totally tried, but it all got kind of uh, people abused, like the, the furniture, you know, when people yeah. get drunk. So it did look like more of a house. We had a costume room when we opened, and it was more of a house, but it got too wild. And I remember hand. some wild days. I remember calling, the, I called it the Candy Cane lane and it was down by the little fire pit down there oh yeah was, and i would go hang out there and would just be away from people at some point yeah it's so. nice back there and and there wasn't a lot that's of, where i would go hide there wasn't oh. a ton of bars when you opened no not too many no it wasn't a lot uh chris office was open patrick was open was the uh oh, castaways Fort, Fort, Fort Fort leo's Bayou. Four Bayou yes. had, didn't it Four Bayou have theirs? Yeah. Oh, that was old, like the old, that was Gills. Yeah. Four Bayou, yeah, Gills. Oh, I was thinking of the other Fort Bayou. Wasn't it called that where Communas yeah. is now? They moved, yeah, so, but the, wasn't the oh, original? they moved. The yes. original was Gills, right? Yeah. And then they had the Jill Room, which I went there uh, a I week ago. I love the Jill Room. I went there a week ago. Stayed out till 5 a.m. I love that place. It's a good spot. It's magic. <laughs> uh, the ceilings are super low. Yeah, right? I remember going there when we were not supposed to be going there. Yeah. And they actually drugged the bartender out and, and hit him with all kind of you know, shame on yous uh, for having the, probably close to 200 people over capacity Ooh, yeah. inside that place. Oh. Mine was good, though. My first experience, Harriet was bartending, and the lady that... Oh, that wasn't my first experience. <laughs> did, did, you know, they have mint outside, and she made a mint julep. 
No, I didn't. Wait a minute. Tell me more about that this. That was 2000 and 2000. Okay. Yeah, my first time in there. She went. She goes, uh, your first time here? Something like, yeah, my first time in Mississippi. And she went out, got the mint, made me a homemade mint julep. What? It was good. Was that a ghost? And, like, you just no. thought it was somebody Harriet? there? Harriet? No. Because I don't ever remember that. No. She was, like, cigarette smoking bartender. Chain smoking? Really neat so, lady, so long red hair. So, 2000, that was your first year here in Mississippi? Yeah. What brought you down here? Oh, you know, man. Dudes. Bad man. Dudes. Yeah. One guy. Did he live over here? Did he I live? cried when I, I said, I'm not going to Mississippi. <laughs> so he was living up there. He No, he opened up Applebee's. That's how I came to Mississippi. The one in Ocean Springs? Yes. My brother was the first him. one I remember ever. Did he? Michael Gilmore. Ha- they called him Happy. He had the love of Avenger, Ocean Springs. That's your brother? Yeah, my older brother. It's Michael. He was just in town. He lives in California now. Blonde hair, blue eyes, really nice. That's my older brother. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's how I got here. He had little momos on his Did you Avenger. work at Applebee's no, when you first came no. here? You just came here to he get came. in on them boneless wings, no. riblets. No, but that deluxe brownie or the blondie brownie. Fire. That was good. Um, Ocean Springs uh, Applebee's still hitting. You know, that day they opened, we had to plant those magnolia trees around the building. And now they're big. Now they're big. They w- It was three two thirty. They were going to open at 4. They're like, nope, not until you get these trees Go planted. Go plant the trees. And I was like, good for you, Ocean Springs. Yeah. Because Rusty's Oop. ass probably was trying to like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take that $500 and put it in my pocket. Yeah, probably. Some cocaine so. for the hostesses and me yeah. later. Yeah. I'll fuck them in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the guy that got me here. <laughs> oh, shit. I like his impression. I thought I was over there. It's a pretty solid impression. <laughs> <laughs> probably, I hope he well, hears it. Rusty, I hope you... uh. Get your shit together, man. Applebee's, when it came down, that was a big deal. It was huge. It was the first chain something y'all had down here or something. Yeah, so, we were very late to yes, the curb here. And they were they didn't want it. And so this lady from Atlanta owned that, hired Rusty, because he was so good at what he did. He hired him and brought him. And I stayed in Florida, in uh, Navarre, while he was over here for four months, while they built it from the ground. He lived in the hotel where the Indian is. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah right there. behind the train. Yes. Yeah. He lived there. Well, the murders it happened. Got on, did it call on fire or no? I don't know. It's a sketchy place. Probably now, dude. If he was there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit. What else did they, what else did they have in it? Like, I, That's where the Christmas tree My dad had a house there. off of Halstead. That's uh, right there by the AC, or, um, the AC yeah, Gallon Government. Express. Right past Hops and Growers. Four way stop has the tennis courts. Yeah, I'm talking about the church with the caboose. I mean, the hotel with the caboose and On the, the other yeah. Hand, yeah. That yeah. hotel. No, but I'm saying, well, I like the Halstead, that area. Like, uh-huh. I'm just trying to remember, like, but I lived Halstead in the early 90s, mid 90s, like Halstead Road. I'm just trying to think in my head, like, that had the train, Apples came. But yeah, you're like, they didn't have a lot of businesses there. No. Like, Tater Nut, right? Is Tater yeah. Nut there? Tater Nut? Yeah. I'm just trying to imagine back in the day when, like, yeah, how they did the first week we did uh, the first week open was seventy four thousand dollars of Applebee's. Yeah, oh, I was there. Seventy four thousand of riblets. I don't think the uh, Applebee's sees seventy four thousand in no. a week now yeah. or a month. I remember it was like crazy. They were like, "Oh, and it kept growing. It would grow." But the first week was seventy four. Now we got Chipotle in Diaberville, new franchise. We have franchises everywhere now. Chipotle. Yeah. Just I went there today for lunch, the first time. Was it good? It's like is that Mo's. the one Ben has? No, he's got Qdoba. Qdoba. And Qdoba is way better than They're Chipotle. coming out of Springs. And Ben did not pay me to say that. Oh, their band was so good the other night. Yeah, I didn't Struggle see Struggle Bus? It. Oh, yeah. I didn't oh. see it. I saw Struggle the pictures. Bus? I saw the pictures. Shit, y'all. Tell us about it. Oh, it was so fun. So Ben sings. Right? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I knew all that. Okay, I did. And he's just great, you know, but... This this I was like oh it was quirky fun entertaining they were they were like they dressed they dressed like I I wouldn't call it costume for the crowd they, they, they yeah. put on the show yes. showmanship they had black lights black light blooms and Amber's voice she belts out that Freddie Mercury and then the blonde girl what's her name beautiful blonde girl with the hair she was in another band she's uh she sings with Mike Collette, I think. Her. Okay, yeah. Oh, my God. Woo! She sang um, Hold On, Brittany Howard, Alabama Shakes. Yeah. Blew it out of the house. It was great. I want Jerky Boys back. 
Oh, remember them? They did something wrong. I can't remember what it was. Oh, put holes in the bathroom at Juke Joint. Uh oh. Did they really? Mm-hmm. They they came back and the nice one came back and uh apologized, fixed yeah, it, and fixed put some it. putty in the wall mm-hmm. and fixed yeah, it. Yeah, they all did room. that. You know what we did? Uh-oh. We put um I think plywood behind that and then put the a picture on and painted something. Yeah, so if you hit it, it hit hard. Yeah, good. F those people. What was the biggest band that uh, me? Did you have any? Out, did you ever bring out like outside acts? I really wanted the Revivalists, but they were five thousand, and that was back then. Really? Yeah. And now I, they're a hundred. Yeah. Five hundred thousand. And I couldn't. Th- I knew I couldn't get people. I to love pay the, at the door. Yeah. I know, but I knew if I asked for ten dollars at the door, everybody, nobody likes to pay that. You know. I, 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 I think I, I just start, I started listening to them. I think it was like two thousand fifteen. This was uh twelve. When uh, I was talking to David, the guy, from, yeah, I was like, oh, we got to have you, we got to have you. And he was, his heart was in it, though. He's like, oh, I really want to do this, you know, but it's not just me, it's my man, it's, the, you know, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And then they blew up. They did. And, and that's one thing, I guess, if you can catch them right before that happened. Yeah. They'll remember you. Yeah. Now, I remember, I, I worked at Proud Larry's in Oxford, and, and we had Moon Taxi in there. And these guys were like freshmen seniors in college and then boom they blew up but i remember seeing them then and like they i've seen them and they're like man we were playing there like and before they got big yeah and then once they're big they don't remember it anymore they're just kind of like in the machine and they're just like, yep like brooks came in one night he goes i brought these kids in with me well they want to play some music it was roscoe bandana oh, we're like nice, nice. oh yeah <laughs> nice. we're all blown away we're like you know brooks want to go play more we're like no man we're good I enjoy Champion Club. Johnny, yeah, the Champion Club, their their yeah. little three piece band. Yeah, he has Champion Print now. I used to love Mississippi Shakedown, the Fire. Back they were in the good, day. yeah. yeah. Right. Johnny is. I got a great picture of him when he was singing the other night. He's good. Yeah, they're. It was. I, and honestly, it was. Uh, I seen them at the Juke Joint. I remember, like one of the. First time I seen him was at the grocery, and the second time I seen him was at the juke joint, and it was a hell of a performance. Yeah, I mean, they, it was just a performance. Like, we had a good one Saturday. It was Carrie Hudson and Royal Horses kind of combo with Scott and Lindsay, and it was just a really it was it was good. I have this photo of Carrie. Uh, it was it, it, I might say it wrong. Uh, what's y'all's event? Y'all do the feed the sh- not feed the need. pets feed the for frets. Mm-hmm. So the first year, like the first year, I shot the photography there. And I, ha- I shot the f- photo of Hudson uh, with the violinist on the stage, like stage, his back, and there's a crowd of people at, at the grocery. That was like my photo. Like you'll see, like he has, it's a photo. It was oh, a really, nice. we, it was the first year we just went around. It was uh, Chase Sequel's a friend of mine. Like Carrie's been naked in my pool. Oh, yeah? What? Yeah. Was, you could probably hold, everybody hold their hand up right now. Everybody's been, been naked, naked in, in the pool. pool. Is that like a... Is, is it revived? Like, is there a... What's the temperature on that pool? Nobody's yeah. like stared weirdly at anybody ever. It was just oh, real what's comfortable. What's the final? No, no. Yeah. Is, it, um, <laughs> is this pool still around? Yeah, but I don't live there. I, oh. Nobody should show up. Well, yeah, you should invite people to go jump Man. naked in your pool now. Oh, my God. Just so the neighbors have... Or the people that live there have something fun to talk mm, about. Good times. Yeah. So you're back yeah. now. I mean, you, yeah. you went away for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Wandered back to us here. Yeah, I did. And now you're at the grocery. Yay. So for those of you who want to come see her, you can go check them out there. Um, I want to go back to the pool. Like, I mean, was yeah. Was, that, I want to go back did, to the Was pool. there snacks? Was there hors d'oeuvres? Oh, yes. Was there, there was hunch jungle, punch? Fire so when did, it, when did it start to do? Like, so I I went uh, one I, one time on Pascal. I was on, I was living at uh, Gaucher. And I didn't have, like, I didn't know anybody in Pascal. And my first experience, I went to uh, Jack's by the Tracks, and I drive my scooter, met Mark, and I went over there. Nice people. Yeah, very nice people. Ended up going to the jazz club, ended up, and then from jazz club, went to just Stranger's House, and we all skinny dipped, and there was probably 20 of us. Yeah. It was just like that kind of, like, I'm with you on that. We're like, yeah. it wasn't... It wasn't weird. That wasn't weird at all. I was no. like, hey, let's go skinny dip. It's it was like, not weird. It you know, definitely sounds like the start of an orgy, though. Bra- you know Brady's? Just saying. Bra- yeah. Cuddle puddles. You remember like, Brady's right there by the yeah. bridge? It was right by Brady's. So you've seen, the, you've seen Huck's Cove. You've seen yeah, every. Yeah, you know, beautiful yeah. place to skinny dip. 
And if you go to Horn Island, you should be naked, you know? Yeah. Her parents her parents were home, and... There is nothing oh. like swimming naked. But she lives... It's so nice at night. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Do it again. The daytime, you can get sunburned. Yeah. We left Arturo in my pool once, and <laughs> the next day at noon, I woke up, and You're we went out there? there, and he was laying on a floaty, and he was crispy, and his, his wiener was burned. He oh, no. Said, I burned my wiener, me, so you leave me out in the pool. That's- that's, well, that's shame that's on him, though. Hurt. Shame on him. I'd have to hurt, dude. <laughs> yeah, I... I've never sunburned my, my dick. Really? No. I haven't either. Like, like, I think... It's pretty tan on its own, but it's not... They are kind of browner than your yeah. normal skin. Yeah. I don't know why. Why is Or that? how that works out. I did... So when I was picking the habaneros, I was not wearing gloves. Uh-oh. And I had to, had to, take, a, I had to take a piss. Mm-mm. And I was like, I made the biggest mistake. It took about, it took about five minutes to absorb the... St- Absorbed. I think you all say it was a mistake. Every guy's done it. <laughs> I just didn't like. I was like literally picking like me and me and Oliver. Like he was he was out there watering the plants, and I was just picking. I didn't even thinking just because Emma's like uh, she has these uh, these little ch- uh, baby cherries, uh, baby bee tomatoes, cherry I'll, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and I was yeah. I was picking them for her. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I'm here for that. <laughs> I was picking them for her, and then I went and picked a couple of mine. And I Jordan didn't want speak. To. Yeah, well, it is definitely my speak. Your own language. But I got it. I got yeah, most of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say 90% accuracy. So you burned your wiener with jalapeno fingers, every, is that what I you're bet saying? You, every guy has done that. I've done it with crawfish before. My yeah, eyes see, is the worst. Ex- every guy's experienced it. I think they wanted to feel it. I didn't want it. I didn't. I, Did it hurt? Yeah. Like pain? It, not like a good, weird feeling? It, it, it was, wasn't like the lotion that tingles. No. no so my brother did a prank on me one time. I was like icy hot. Now that. Uh, and it was it was worse. It, it was worse than that because it was like it really was. It was like for a while it, it took a while to set in and to really feel it. And it got to a point where I had to hop in the shower. I was like, okay. No. How long did that take? Was it like the pop? It was a cold shower. Time? You should put ice cream on it. I didn't have any ice cream. <laughs> Wait, what flavor? What flavor? Man. And keep on. My son's here. I'm like, it's got to be vanilla. Like, Dad's got to take a shower real quick. He <laughs> doesn't like, even know about I'm it. I'm like, take that. this ice cream with me. <laughs> yeah. But. I just gave somebody ice cream at work because his uh, he touched his eyebrow with hot sauce, and he said, "I need ice cream to put on my eyebrow." Is that like a win all? Like, uh, I don't know. You just made I went it up. Got ice cream. Did you just make it up? Like, no, that um, truly happened. Travis, Travis did that. Yeah, but still, did you just make up the remedy? Or? He asked for it. Um, oh hell no! I wouldn't. I would have not thought of that. I would have. I'm one to come up with stuff like if, if you tap your elbow and yawn yeah, twice, turn around twice, it'll, it'll go away. Yeah. yeah. Say the alphabet. <laughs> I'm just trying to see who play and who won't play. Oh, play is a great word. Yeah. I, I, I admire um, Hook. Remember that movie? Yeah. With Robin Williams. And whenever he first goes back to Neverland and they're all uh, eating dinner and they're taking big bites and nothing mm-hmm. and they turn it into a food fight yeah. and he kind of doesn't understand what's going on and then slowly he gets it and, and they're like, you're playing with this, Peter. That's one of my favorite lines. You're just playing a, with this, Peter. Yeah, 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 you're playing with this. Like, you're <laughs> in. But uh, the Peter makes it a little perverse. Um, so I'd use that in college as a pickup line. No. You're playing with this, Peter? <laughs> no, I I, uh, I do like the, to have that creative mindset and to get into, I think, like a, a child's mind. And Rufio that, was so that's mad, that's too. That's that allows you to be in the, a full-on yeah. creative state. Oh. Without it. that, me and Jordan wouldn't be here. I promise. That, right? So, I know. I'm I'm bummed. Oliver's not coming up. Oh, he's been up here numerous times. Yeah, yeah. he just uh, in his seat. Emily's get, just got off work. She just wants to spend time with him. And uh, he was here. At like, yeah, he he made five bucks today. He was helping me pick his Legos up because he's he comes up here. His Legos are everywhere. And oh, he's hustling you for Legos. No, he just he I, I, dirties he his just own Legos. Up well, he likes buying. Dollars. He likes going. He likes going to the store and buying his own. Oh, okay. So it's like you know he gets like you know a dollar, dollar here, dollar there, and I was like, hey, it's his check. Yeah, five. <laughs> hey, I was like five dollars. Like you can help Daddy pick uh, pick up. Like, it's you know mainly picking up his Legos. That hurts when you step on. Them. Oh, it hurt me. Oh yeah, especially that's when the he, worst. Especially yeah. when it's like stacked. Ooh. Yeah, and but I mean he, that's what he loves. He like he like it. You're getting kind of to the the point where it's you know, I even sleep sometimes and I and I wake up and there's a Lego stuck to my back. Oh. That sounds like a torture, Tiny's torture oh. technique. Is that like uh, 
you, you feel it. You're like, ah, ah, and it's like, you know, sweaty. You're like, pull it off. It's like, okay. Mm. I mean, I'd rather a Lego than him peeing. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. He's With like two Legos. So he does <laughs> like, you know, he's five and he always, in the last, you know, year or two, he, he, he goes to bed in his own bed. He goes to sleep. Bed. And at about three, four in the morning, you hear these little feet. <laughs> and then it's just a full run into our bed. And then he's right in the middle. And then one leg on my back. Uh-huh. And the other day, he peed on me. Oh. You know? And it got in my eye a little bit. Oh. oh man. Yeah. And he said, but he said sorry. He, he said yeah. sorry. He's like. Yeah, don't shame him. No, he said sorry. He's like, I, I, I peed. I'm like. Unless he went like this to you. No. No, he was, <laughs> he was sleeping. He was sleeping. It wasn't. That's why, like, he yeah, don't get punished for that no stuff. No big deal. Yeah, that's. But, it, but I'll tell you what. A little pee in the corner of your eye. Worse than hot peppers. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Just right here, just uh huh, salty, burning. Yeah, yeah. Just like it, it just it feels like it's the weirdest feeling because you're like trying to rub and you're like, yeah. Mm. Love you, son. I love oh, you. Oh, Oliver. Don't pee on me, Oliver. He's a great kid. Like we uh r- right now with our insurance office, so we have an uh, insurance office on Howard Avenue. Me and Matt and he. Go on, go. On. Yeah, we bring Oliver to work with us. So Oliver work. He's there every oh, day. Yeah. Does he have a really cool hat to wear? No, he. he let the crow fly. He does have a few hats. He does have a few hats. He but just he, walked up to me like we knew each other for five years. Hey. Got to treat your kid that way. I mean, now, yeah, like. I we, don't think he's meet strangers. We, no way. No, I love him. Uh-huh. Yeah, no way doing that. And, but he, he does, like, so we, we have a comps room, and it's kind of like his little play area. Mm, I love it. Yeah, he's a good, he really is. Like, he, because he does, like, he's like Uncle Matt. He, like, wants to, uh, if he sees us doing something, yes. he's going to want to do it. Autonomy is huge. You can get to feel like, yeah, I can do this. Matt, for his birthday this year, Oliver, we, we had a birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. Like, because showbiz is our spot. But we had a birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. Garrett, Matt, uh, that's Uncle Garrett, too. Garrett bought him a drone or something. They're going to fly it one day because he keeps asking about it. But, like, they were like, the, we got to figure it out. Or, like, hey. he got him a plane. Garrett's like, I told the boys to get what y'all want. Like, cause, you know, get Oliver the gift y'all want. Well, Matt and I'm getting a uh, fishing pole, and Garrett got him a, 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 to fly a plane. <laughs> I mean, but that's like a serious. I love that the diversity, yeah. right? Uh, the fishing pole, even well rounded. Yeah. Yes, well rounded. And now, like that's you. It, he's you very caught a fish. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah he did. Oh, you took him and did no, the whole. No, he, he stole someone else's fishing pole. Oh. Never met a stranger. But we taught him how to, <laughs> to throw it, and um, so he knew right what he was on. doing. That kid's gonna do a lot of great things. I yeah. love that. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, he, that's I mean, beautiful. You were kind of a wild card, you know. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I didn't think you were going to make it at one point. Oh, I knew he'd make I'm it, but kidding. I didn't know which way. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, me and Emily uh, dated for a couple weeks, and, and then uh, we got pregnant and decided to. Go Best thing the... that happened to you, probably, I'm going to say. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of the coolest gifts, yeah. Yes, that's beautiful. I, I mean, it, it, being a parent, it's wild. It's not. It's not for... It's not a, it's not trendy. It's, it really no. is like, you know, it's a, a person and that's, yeah. but it, it teaches you so much. Cause you're like, you, you get off the work calls. Like, well, that's what start our entrance office. Like, this is a real thing for us. Like phone calls, phone calls, phone calls. And then it's like, you watch Oliver just go to the smallest thing mm-hmm. right now. Like the big pencil downstairs, big pencil. Yeah. yeah fascinating. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah. That's what life's about though. Yes. Uh, send it down to the next generation. We should be as excited as him. I think he was pretty excited We're getting whenever there. he gave him that pencil. Really? Yeah, I saw it in his face. Wow. Um, it's you like, have to sharpen it. That's like about this. how excited I was when you agreed to come on the podcast. <laughs> and we were like, because I know I had talked to you at one point a few months way back. And I was like, look, let me just plant this seed in your head. If you'd be down... We'd love to have you. I know. I forgot about it. And, um, totally yeah. forgot about it. Uh, well, I didn't. And uh, we're so glad that you came. Do you ever think you'll? Uh, do you ever think you'll have another? Like yes. start your own bar, Biloxi? Where are you going to go? East Biloxi. I like East Biloxi right now. Hey, I'm on the economic development community. So Ooh. if there's anything we yeah, can man, my do, yeah, man. My name's Christina Music. I remember when we you know saw, these people. I, I remember when you I seen you. You're like you told me about that. We were at uh, First oh, Friday. Yes, yes. Oliver was there. Like so, that First Friday is like the thing. Like I, I was there at the first one. I've missed a couple, but very few. Yeah. And now our, our office is across the street. So our actual office, so we'll pregame at our office 
and then go across. Yeah, you're the invited. Where it is now, you mean by yeah. Fly Llama? Underneath, yeah, the, yeah underneath the uh, bridge. You're invited uh-huh. to come to the next yeah. free party. Our entrance office is right across the street. So, like, I'll like uh, Melanie uh, Bozeman, uh huh, Brian, and Melanie, and their kids. Like, I mean, that I'll oh, we're, nice. all, we're like a family. Uh, we pregame there. Yeah, Holly Gilbert post game. Pre-game. It's a good post game, pre game. Oh um, yeah, Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. It was a banger. I love, I love the community events. Me too. I love them. I, I love it over there. I feel like I'm in a community again where I grew up in Cahokia, East St. Louis. That's what I feel like. Were they big on parades? Where there? I'm from. Yeah. No. no parades. We had the homecoming parade. You know, that was about it. Okay. I'm thinking we need more ideas, more reasons for parades. I don't. Know yes. Why. I, I feel like that's something that brings people in. What kind people of festival? Love parades. What kind of uh, parade or festival would you start? Parade or festival that you would start? Yeah. Mm. I'm corny. Let's see. I don't know. The first yeah. word comes to me is kindness. Okay. The kindness festival, acts of kindness. There's a Mayberry Festival where people just go around and celebrate Andy Griffith and stuff. So we don't have to be. I'm just saying, like anything goes. Yeah, <laughs> just awareness to and maybe diversity, diversity, okay. kindness, because we're all so different. Yeah, ELE. God. That's what I was saying earlier. Like one of the reasons that me and Jordan kind of put this this show together was to bring people together yes. and show everybody. Look how. Yeah, close to each other we really are. I our mean, thoughts, our now ideas. That didn't know me, but they know me now. They've met me now. Yeah, they're like, wow, Mizo. You know, I didn't know what to expect. You know, when I met you, we've I'm heard like, all these wild stories I'm about like, you about your naked pool party. I'm just, I'm like, I'm just, you know, <laughs> just me. You know, I'm all just a little old me. Oh, you know, yeah, no, but yeah, you never know. Are you always bringing bring one of the dopest vibes? Just so you know, you bring atmosphere. We, uh, it's noted and we recognize oh. it. And, Thanks. And you know that already. Though. I don't know that you're just, but, you're just humble. I don't really know. You're that. just humble, man. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like when you like when I see you, it's like it, like I always like, my mom always told me when I was younger. My mom's like a gypsy, you know. I mean, my my grandfather was uh, he was an airboat captain. My mom they lived. My mom I didn't at all, but my mom lived like in a tent with her eight siblings, nine siblings, and they they were like, oh, you told I remember yeah. you told me. So that. it's like they've they kind of had that thing. So like that, and then when she she got us a house, you know. Mom did some. She worked a lot, but that was that kind of feel though. Like the atmosphere. Mom said you 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 vibe people like your energy of a person. Yeah, like you can feel a person. And, and I do. I, and like when you when I see it's you, it's like skill, dude. oh snap, yeah. dude! <laughs> like people like when they us. see me now, they're like, oh, like they saw a ghost. They're like, oh my god, where have you been? You know, and it's like, wow. What is your next bar? You, I know you have some ideas of it. But what is the next bar? Is it going to be smaller or bigger? I just whatever the small, universe brings. You know what's nice? Speakeasy. I, that's always, you know, that's of course. I've never I've, been to an actual speakeasy, though. I, I want one with a hidden bar, like, psh, yes. psh, and then it opens up. Kind of like and, Batman, like we were talking about yeah. earlier. Batman, the signal. Yeah. I do love a little neighborhood family beer garden. That's a dope idea. With good food. You know, like the grocery is, you know, in some grassy area. A that's knoll, a grassy is. knoll. Yeah, something for the families to get them out in the daytime so they meet their neighbors. I like that. You know, maybe not serve hard liquor, <laughs> just beer. And Zima. Yeah, Zima's and beer, draft beer. <laughs> Is there more uh, profit in beer or liquor? liquor? So that's, I mean, that's I always, it's always a, it's a profit. Yeah. Ch- I mean, at some point, because you have to keep the lights on. Yeah. You've seen that with, you know, the pandemic was a, t- a tough one. Like, I went around to every bar that could stay open as we were going just to buy food and then me and emily would be eating food <laughs> you know like it just you know you have to like i yeah. and i was telling them i, I always knew like, like i'd buy a shot one shot and a beer you know what i mean so it's like you get one shot and a beer if i'm one shot and a beer it's kind of because like, because i had i forgot who told me that it was like <laughs> liquor's always been a i mean there's more profit than there is that's why when we first opened we only had beer that really hurt us well, I mean, I didn't realize, I mean, I do now, but years back, I didn't realize it was such a monopolistic, state-ran oh, alcohol. God. Yeah. Unbelievable. Is it like that in all states? No. 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 So just here. No. Just in the good old Bible Belt, Mississippi. It's not good. Uh, I mean, we it's have not a very strong. Change. We have a very strong buddy-buddy system. Yeah. 
There's Very. only what fourteen of these left. State run. I don't know. We need no more than me. Fourteen, maybe. So we need to work on something to abolish that. Well, Jonathan's or? on on board on that. Mazzano, he's on doing something with the at the Capitol with trying to get that changed. So yeah. how will that like? So will it go? That was always so. There's like that bigger thing, and so it's like. People are scared of the Walmarts. That's the corporate, the Walmarts, the tar, the 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 big corporate businesses. That's why, like, I talked to, I was talking to a few um, liquor stores about it, and that was that was their scary thing. It's like a Mazzano's, you know, if across the street, like Windex had their, you know, their liquor store always. Yeah. But like Walmart gets there, and it's just like they buy they buy in bulk, so they get it they get it cheaper, and they can sell it cheaper. And people always go for like you know. If a bottle is thirty two dollars, like Walmart might have it for twenty four dollars. Even people with money will go buy that cheap ass. Yeah, save ten dollars. So Johnson's going to sit Instead there of supporting their people. Yeah, so Johnson's going to sit there on his, you know, and, and that was a fascinating thing I always thought about Jonathan was like, you know, he he even market like the price he puts on his single barrels when he goes picks them. And he travels and, and has yeah. fun doing it, but like he he really does like has a pretty decent price on it. But, like, if you get, like, a Walmart in there and it's, like, no. half price, buy two, get one free. Yeah, you can't and compete. you get a bathing suit. You trust you him compete. when you go in. You know what's up. But, it, like, you said it right there. He has fun while he's doing it. That's, like, Oh, dude, motto. I love watching. If you're not having fun, you need to go. I got a motto. It's if you can't make work fun, don't make work. Thank you. And That's like, right. I, try to, I don't make work fun. Sometimes work stresses really? me out. But I try to. It's good. Jordan helps. I love. Yeah, I mean, whenever I'm, you're there, you're working with your people. Oliver probably uh, helps. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He does. I mean, we're in the insurance game. Not very fun. It's boring. So it's it's, it's regulated. <laughs> it's regulated like everything else is regulated. Just like, yeah, uh, just the, the people got to wet their beak, get theirs. So, but that's just. The I world, mean, I've, right? from me, I mean, from making ten dollars a bond or ten dollars profit to let's say five hundred dollars profit. What doesn't matter? It's you're still the customer, right? And you look at that situation. And you're all like, about customer service. Yeah, and taking care of people and being. You have to tell them. Like, and guess where I learned that working in the industry. So and you got to be honest about it without, too. Everybody should do it. Yeah, I really feel like that. You know, I I, I would hire someone with their experience there. Yeah. Than somebody who come skills. out of school yes. with this degree. Yes. And, uh, yeah, it is a social. social it is a social skills. thing. I think people are, away. but people are feeling it now. That they're like, I, so they're, no, you can't buy it. What I've learned is, is we are a dying breed. You either have it or you don't. And now that I, I've started to find myself as, as one of the talented ones with it. No, no, I'm just kidding. But you got to capitalize on it. Have you, you like, so have you ever it. had somebody with a hospitality, sorry about a hospitality degree come in? You know, and like when you're working alongside them, you're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. You ever smiled before? Like, <laughs> come on. Have you ever, do you know what it feels like to mom? Yeah. <laughs> Do you, can you like you know they spill something like I'm just curious like that was like a thing has always been the degree thing like oh that's I always felt bad for the people that spent money to go to bartending school really well, eight hundred it's like you know stuck in your head though Crescent the way, City the way I learned yeah was the best I think it's a casino right, more though like they they probably because oh, down here you have yeah you're right. I mean I'm more upset number one, here's two things I'm upset about Bombay I could never like I went to Bombay Bicycle Club ah, yeah. but I could never drink there and then Treasure Bay I never got to step foot in the boat. Okay. And I'm sad about it. I've never stepped, like, I always had, like, my little car shows in front of it. What are you sad about? Is there anything that brings you, like, that just. What did I see on the way here that was kind of sad? All the lightning popping around? Not the lightning. Something made me sad. Oh, the guy walking down the street with the sheet around him. No. Oh. I don't know. I wanted to get out and I carry give pillows him a hug. and blankets and give them around, but, but then I'm worried they're going to stab me. Yeah, so I don't know where the you should you should keep that concern no, up there. What are you happy about? Me. That's probably a better question. Happy what are you happy about? What being, makes being back at the grocery? Dope. Yeah, because it's magic there. Yeah, I'm happy. The grocery burgers are fire. The French yeah. fries, the hummus, the hummus, homemade. I know. It's wild, so, huh? I, I remember so my step. We went Scott and we went and got uh, cruising coast. Uh, oh. last year, crazy packed, crowded. Uh, me and him went, and I got him a grocery burger and a bowl of gravy, and he was just like, "What do they what call? Is they call this place? something here on the on the coast? I can't remember what it what, is. What the gravy? The gravy, like yeah, 
gravy and fries or gravy Routine. on everything. I can't remember. That's what, in Canada. I, I think it's remember. a side of gravy at the grocery for $1.49. Yeah, you get a bowl. Yeah. He, he was fascinated. Small. You only need the small. People order the big one. You really don't need it, but. They end up throwing it away. Yes. Yeah. And, and they got PBR on draft. And people drink the gravy through a straw. No. Yeah. And they are going to get feet cut off later on in life. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. I got enough that I play with fire. I don't need that. Need and I'll that tell you what, time. that Euro at the grocery. It's so good, isn't it? Oh. I'm just glad to be back in the building because I was there. All right. After I want to hear Gina. one more time. What'd you call the special table? Where? At the grocery. <laughs> <laughs> the one up on that. You see, you referred to it earlier in the show. You said the, the kids walked in. With the, the beers, table? the magic table. Yeah, is that it? How that's the one up name. on. That's where everybody. That's just when you sit there. You've had at least one magical moment being there from when he's open till now. It's just a magic corner there that people sit and have magic talks. That's the one up elevated, right? Or no? No, that's the in, that's the VIP on the inside. That's the VIP. This okay. Is the outside. Okay. Magic this ad, table. Okay. I didn't know. I was just so trying. right on your left. The VIP. There are cameras that. People can watch them in the back, so you don't want to get up there and get too busy. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. You know, do all that behind the dumpster. Yeah, the out in the parking the lot. Not in the building. The public. Yeah, the public out of the area. building. Well, look, it was so dope having you on here. Would you be down to come back and do another one of these one day? No, sure. Okay. Good times, huh? Yeah, Where's absolutely. the camera? Oh, right there, right there. Oh, oh hey! no, over here. Over here. No, no, oh. no. Right there. Oh, hey! <laughs> Good times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you so, for stopping by. Thank you so much. We've had I'll a great show. I hope I find my way out of here. Huh? Yeah, we'll help so you out. So what, what, uh, when do you think the new bar is going to open? When I find the right place. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're going to help her find. It's yeah, got to be the spot. It's about the yeah. spot. Maybe we'll figure it out. All right. Y'all be good.